Hello, foodie fans. Welcome to the Big Food Talk, produced by Tough Monkey Entertainment. I'm your host, Sal Conca. This show supports restaurants, chefs, and food pioneers with your help. Head to BigFoodTalk.com to make your donation today or check out our fun apparel line with proceeds going directly to participating restaurants. Special thanks to the Long Island Food Council, Dine LI Facebook Group, and Yelp Long Island for supporting this episode. Today's guest is David, the owner of Main Street Pizza Company in Farmingdale, New York. Since its opening in October 2019, Main Street Pizza Company has made a name for itself with creative ideas like Lamborghini deliveries and board games printed right on the box. Don't let the shenanigans fool you. David has a true love of pizza that dates back to his first job at the age of 15 at Positano's in Williston Park. Don't miss this week's speed round where we pit grandma versus Sicilian, pepperoni versus sausage, and chicken parm versus eggplant parm. Let's hear David's story. David, welcome to the Big Food Talk. I'm so excited to start, uh, be speaking with you today, all the way from Farmingdale, one of my favorite uh, spots to dine. How's everything going for you? Uh, everything's going going fine, man. Um, you know, we're all just, just uh, wrapping up summer, getting ready to go for our back to school and fall season, and, and you know, trying to get back to some normal life. Yeah, I hear you. In, in my house, just alone, right? We have a 10-year-old son and just the back-to-school thing. And my wife is a teacher as well. So back-to-school is the topic of the day over here nonstop, like, you know, how many days and what's it going to look like and all that stuff. So, yeah, I can appreciate that for sure. Um, let's, let's, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's dive into the pizza biz. How long have how long you been making pizzas yourself, personally? Um, about 20 years now. Yeah, started yeah. started off when I was yeah when I was about fifteen sixteen. Wow, and where'd you get your start? Where where were you working? Oh man, when when we were kids, we used to work at Positano's in Williston Park. Oh, awesome! And I know this. Like a little crew. Yeah, we had like a little crew of guys. You know, I was the I was the the baby in the crowd. I was the young guy, and uh, uh, we just all stuck together for a couple of years, and you know, and we're all still friends to this day. So it all started when we were kids. That's awesome. Yeah, Positano, I have a lot of memories there. My dad worked for Avis Rent-A-Car and he would go there a lot for lunch with his coworkers uh, back in the day. This is, you know, going back 20 years ago or more. So it might've been before you were even working there, but uh, great pizza over there. Great, great stuff. Great place to get your uh, education, I would, I would say, right? <laughs> oh, tough. Every, everybody who worked there and who came out of that place, is a is a killer. That's <laughs> awesome. Like, uh, it's a, it's a t it's it's school of hard knocks over there, and and if you survive, you know you you're on the right track. That's awesome. So now yeah. you opened Main Street Pizza Company in Farmingdale. You guys just opened and went. What was your opening date? How long have you guys been in business there? Our, yeah, our uh, you know we did uh, you know a soft opening for kind of like a month to see you know, the area, get ourselves initiated and stuff like that. And then we did a grand opening on October 19th of 2019. Wow. So only a few min months before the world turned upside down, right? I mean, was, was not on our side this year, but you know, we, uh, what are you going to do? Yeah. Just roll with the punches. I, I hear you, man. I hear you. I mean, since opening, I, I've seen, couple of things that you've done i know you guys introduced this what they call the quote unquote the board game you turned your pizza box into a board game which was pretty cool um who came up with that idea um you know there, there, there was some inspiration from from somebody else that that we got some ideas from but we, we decided to 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 bump it up and turn it into a well, we have two versions of it one's more of a family friendly kids version you know and uh one became a more extreme a drinking game pretty much for for 21 and over crowd you know we, we felt like there was uh, a lot of people stuck i don't know we just figured out let's, let's everybody's together now let, let's do something as a family let's do something as friends you know like, let's get through this 
Yeah, definitely. And that's the attitude I love through this is like, no matter who I've spoken to, you know, on this show and, and yourself included, that the, the collaborations and the inspiration, the creativity that people were forced into to keep their businesses going was, was great. Um, is that board game, is that still available? Can you still get those on the boxes? Or did you guys discontinue that for now? Oh, no, it actually uh, got to the point where it's pretty much one of our everyday boxes. It's become a normal <laughs> box for us now. Yeah, so we just, you know, we, uh, we just give it out now. We, most people, most people ask, you know, if they're, if, which version they would like, but no, it's, it's become our everyday box. So we just, you know, people like it. It's fun. It's different. And, uh, you know, it's something that we're proud to put out there. Sure. I hear you. And so with any business opening up from scratch, I mean, it comes with a lot of challenges. What's been the biggest challenge for you guys since COVID and, and all this? What, what's, what's something that you guys have really been struggling with or anything like that? Um, I, I think for us over here in Farmingdale, uh, none of, none of me and my guys are from this area. Uh, mm -hmm. we're all from, you know, Franklin square, Elmont. I live in all the way in middle village Queens now. So it's like, you know, we, uh, we had to get ourselves initiated to this area. We had to market to this area. We had to do some research, mm -hmm. you know, find our, our, our median and find our spot over here. Um, the, the, the strip that we're on in, in I guess this is downtown Farmingdale. Um, there's, it's, there's a lot of bars and restaurants and, and there, when things are normal, there's a good crowd in this area. And oh, yeah. um, our, our biggest adjustment, I guess, during this whole thing is, is pivoting and figuring out other ways of income, other ways of, of getting our product out there and marketing because uh, you know, with a lot of these bars and, and stuff closed there is not so much foot traffic on the weekends you know on friday and saturday main street pizza was open till 4 a.m you know we would we would just do that late night crowd and 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 the kids that are going out right now we don't have that the, the area doesn't have that income um the foot traffic is you know a lot less than what it used to be so we we find other ways to to do business and get ourselves out there. Sure. So what are some of the things that you're uh, doing marketing wise? How, how have you been able to turn things around? How are you, how are you getting feet, uh, customers in the, in the door right now? To be honest with you, we have some fun with it. Um, you know, we just do some different things. Uh, we've teamed up with local companies in the area, local businesses, uh, cloud nine exotics. They're an exotic car rental company. Nice. And uh, you know, we started doing deliveries, in a Lamborghini on random days and stuff like that in a Ferrari, just to, you know, just, this was in the beginning of COVID when, uh, when things kind of took a serious turn and people were stuck at home and, and, you know, we were just figuring out ways to, I don't know, bring some fun to the day, bring some happiness to the day. You know, a lot of people are stuck at home with their kids. Mm -hmm. We do these deliveries with Lamborghini. We bring a $200,000 sports car to the house and cloud nine lets the kids take pictures and it's fun. It's different. You know, it's, uh, it's something that that nobody else did before and a lot of people you know a lot of people really enjoyed it there were some people who, who i don't want to say lack of a better uh, we'll say lack of a better term took offense to it because you know all you guys are doing deliveries in a <laughs> very expensive car yeah that's but you not know the it, point. Was a, it was a yeah you know <laughs> we, we were we weren't trying to be any kind of way we were we were just showing some love to the area and to the neighborhood and a local business that we, we do many events with, you know, and a lot of people really liked it. And, you know, I've heard some other people reach out to them and, and ask to do similar things. So, you know, it works. It works for them. It was, it was a positive experience for both of us. Um, you know, we've teamed up with local microbreweries over here, like Lithology, and, and use some mm -hmm. of their IPA beer to make a pizza dough with it. Oh. Um, you know, we did, a, we did a make your home pizza kits that everybody was doing over the summer, but ours, you know, we also included a quart of sangria or frozen sangria slushy into it. You know, if you're home with the kids, why not have a couple of drinks as an adult? And everybody was so stressed. Why not? Absolutely. Yeah. You and know, I we, love, have, we have fun with it. I, uh, that's great. I love that. I, I love, I mean, listen, if, if we ordered a pizza from you and it was dropped off in a Lamborghini, my 10 year old here would have flipped his yeah. lid. He would have been like, Oh my God, he would have went nuts. Yeah. So you know, <laughs> I love it. I love it all. Definitely. And um, so let's talk a little bit about the pizza you've got, you've been making pizzas forever. 
to you, there's always a great debate, like there's a great debate between a lot of people, but to you specifically, what makes a pizza? Is it the crust or is it the sauce? What, what does it for you? Um, it depends, you know, it depends on, on, on what you're in the mood for, what you like. Um, mm -hmm. it also depends on, I believe a lot of it has to do with what kind of pizza you grew up eating. Definitely. You know, if you grew up having, having a certain kind of pizza, a certain way, either a softer crust or a sweeter sauce, or, you know, it's, it's ingrained in your, in your head that this is what pizza is supposed to be. So this is what I prefer. That's what I like about it. It's, it's, it's very different. Everybody has their own style, their own flavor. Mm -hmm. And you know, some people, some people prefer one way to another. I personally, I mean, again, my, just what I like, yeah, I like a, a thinner, a thinner, crispier pizza. Mm -hmm. uh, I like some basil on my pizza. I like some red chili flakes on my pizza. I like more of a traditional I, I, would, I would say a New York style pizza, sure. a, a Long Island style pizza. Um, and then I like a good Nobly Don pizza once in a while, a nice brick oven, chewy or crust, mm -hmm. more sauce, you know, a nice fresh mozzarella. So I pre personally prefer a very thin, crispy pizza, but I believe a lot of it is, it's, it's, it's objectional. It's, it's what you like. And, you know, that's what we do here is we make it how you like it. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, that's the beauty of food and cooking, right? I mean, everybody has different tastes, uh, you know, not to throw anybody under the bus, but some people grew up, they love Domino's, right? They grew up yeah. eating Domino's and that's what they love. So, you know, I could never go that route <laughs> except when I was in college and flat broke, but you know, <laughs> we, you... we've all been there. Anybody who says they haven't is a liar and <laughs> it's not telling the truth. Everybody's been there. We've all been late night disgusting pizza. I'm guilty myself. It, it just is what it is. But you know what? If you enjoy it, who cares? Exactly. Exactly. And that's what it is. You got to just enjoy it in the moment. Yeah. So I like to have a little fun during these interviews. Uh, I don't think I mentioned this earlier. I've done this twice before. I've got a speed round for you. So I'm going to hit you with a couple. Of, I got like seven different questions for you. And you just got to give me your gut instinct, which one you prefer over the other. You ready to do this? All right, let's go. All right. This is the Main Street Pizza Company Speed Round Pizza Edition. Grandma versus Sicilian. Grandma. Thin and crispy all day. All right. Calzone versus chicken roll. Oh, man. Five years ago, I would have said a chicken roll. I don't know. There's just something about a good calzone. That's just my yep. thing. Yep. I hear you. All right. Toppings. Pepperoni or sausage? It depends. It I, if it's pepper, if it's pepperoni cups, I'll go with the, the pepperoni cups. If it's fresh ground sausage, I, I'll go with the sausage. I, I'll I'll call it fifty fifty. I'm a plain guy. I, I I'm not a. I just like a regular, regular cheese pizza. You're a purist. I get it. I get it. But listen, if if purist. the sausage, I assume you guys use fresh crumbled in your 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 spot, right? Hundred percent. We put it on. It cooks. It cooks as the pizza cooks. We put it on fresh raw sausage. And it makes a big difference because you, all that oil and fat oozes out of it. And then you're getting all sausage fat into your pizza. It's phenomenal. It's the only way to do it. Awesome. All right, let's go back to the speed round. Appetizers, baked clams versus fried calamari. Fried calamari. 100%. Fried calamari. All right. Let's go heroes. Chicken parm or eggplant parm? Eggplant. Going eggplant. All right. And lastly, we got our baked pastas. Are we going lasagna or baked ziti? No, lasagna all day, 100%. <laughs> not even close. Who doesn't like lasagna? I'm with you, man. Lasagna is definitely the king. This was awesome. David, thanks so much for uh, participating in our speed round today. Is there anything else that people should know about Main Street, Com Main Street Pizza Company that we didn't cover today? What, what should people know about you guys? What's really important? Um, you know, we... Our objective and our motto was was to start something that that we that we we like, we're proud of, we have some fun with it. Um, we we have a good blend of traditional pizza and I guess modern new school pizza. I mean, you can come here and get a a margarita or a very thin and crispy grandma or a Sicilian and a regular, and I I'll put it up with anybody's. But we also you know take things a little differently sometimes. We make our version of a, a Big Mac pizza or a, a chicken parmesan with chopped up mozzarella sticks or general sow chicken. So, I mean, we, we were trained in the old school traditional way. 
and you know we do that very well but we also understand that it's pizza it's supposed to be fun you're supposed to enjoy it there doesn't have to be any rules you, you can you can you can do whatever you want with it anybody who said who says otherwise is a liar because if you go to italy they put shrimp and hot dogs and french fries and mayo on their pizza and that is to us that's you know that's in another world but that's for the american tourists no <laughs> oh, my 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 cousins in Italy they they put hot dogs, ketchup, and mayo on pizza, and they throw French fries in it, and I'm just like, oh, please no, and they just go nuts for it. So, who am I to tell them anybody what, what what's supposed to be what? So we, we we like to blend it up. We like to have some fun with it. Um, our our social media, same thing. You know, we we have fun with it. We we take suggestions. We take. You know, we, we do competitions, we do fun things. We, we want to have fun with it. it it's, it's something different, especially right now in a time where you know, things are hard and, and people are, are, are not having a, an easy time. Um, you know, we feel like pizza is, is a comfort food. And if we can bring somewhat of a, a smile or some happiness to somebody's day, yeah, we're all for it. I love it, man. I love that attitude. I wish you nothing but continued yeah. success in the future. David. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for doing this interview with me today, and we'll be talking to you soon. Thank you. You got it, David. Take care. See you later. Bye. Thanks for tuning in to The Big Food Talk, produced by Tough Monkey Entertainment. Subscribe on iTunes and wherever you listen to podcasts. Follow us on Instagram for behind-the-scenes takes, or watch complete episodes on YouTube. Don't forget to make a donation at BigFoodTalk.com.